Map fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at virtual fields in QGIS. Virtual fields are pretty neat and you can see in the video here that if I add a new feature then the geometry attribute of area or the area will actually update on the fly and that is why virtual fields are good. So let's get on and see how we can add one. <laughs> At this point, I'd just like to thank North River Geographic Systems Inc. as their blog on virtual fields was very useful in the making of this video. And it was written in 2014. I cannot believe it's taken me this long to discover virtual fields. As ever, there is a link to the blog in the description below this video. To demonstrate this, I'm going to need something to draw around and we're going to be working with areas. So I'm just going to go down here and change my project coordinate system to the British National Grid, which is a projected coordinate system. Very good. And I could do with some context. So I'm going to bring in Bing Virtual Earth. Don't forget, if you need some base maps for QGIS, you can see my earlier video here. And we need a place to go. So let's go there. All right, that looks like a good place. It's a farm and it has some fields forever. So I'm going to make a new shapefile and draw around these fields. I'll just get on with that now. With my new shapefile created, I am going to select it and then start editing. And on the editor, I'm going to add a polygon feature. And I'm just roughly going to draw around a set of fields here. There we go. Right click, ID can be 01. That is absolutely fine. And there I have a polygon. Now I'm going to stop editing and I'm going to save my changes. In order to find the area of the polygon I've just drawn, I'm going to open up the attribute table. So right click, open attribute table. And I'm going to use something called field calculator. Just this button here. I will open that up. I would like to create a new field and the output name is going to be area. We are going to have a decimal. That looks good. Down here we've got a bunch of different mathematical operators and various other operators and I'm looking for area. And here we have dollar sign area, that looks good, returns the area of the current feature. Excellent. So I'll put that in and I'm going to OK that. And that is the current area of our polygon. That is incredibly close to 30,000. The units are based on the project CRS and in our case this is British National Grid and so this is nearly 30,000 square meters. Now you may have noticed when I first opened up Field Calculator that there was a virtual field option and that's what we're here for so let's have a look at that. Let's open it up and we are going to create a virtual field. It'll be a new field and we're going to call this one V Area. So virtual area, it's going to be a decimal again, and then we are going to look for our area. Now you can see in fields and values, it's pulled up the field that I already had that I made last time called area. And in geometry, what we really want is the area. So I'm going to put that in there. OK it. And now you can see we have a virtual field called V area. This one's rounded up, this one is not, so don't worry about that. So there's our virtual area. Now what is the point of this? What is a virtual area used for? Well, let's make some edits to our field. So I want to incorporate these fields over to the right hand side. I am going to select strawberry fields. I'm going to turn on my editor and I'm going to go for the vertex tool. And I will grab this vertex and drag it out to here. And I will grab this vertex and drag it out to here. That looks good. I'm going to save my edits and then turn off editor. Now let's have a look at our attribute table. Nothing has changed. What is the point of this? 
Don't worry, it's nothing to get hung about. We just need to close the attribute table, open it back up, and look at that. Our virtual field has updated with the new area, and our area field has not updated at all. Now don't forget, I'm using a shapefile here, and it might be interesting to test it a bit more. So let's try adding a new polygon. And let's do this field down here. That looks good. I'll save that. And the ID is just going to be 2. Okay. Now let's open up our attribute table again once I've saved my changes. And we have a new feature in there. The area has not updated and the virtual area has updated. Now this is pretty cool behavior for a humble shapefile. And it means that our attribute table field is almost acting like an Excel formula where it updates on the fly. So that's pretty good. I know that this used to happen or does happen with Esri Geo databases, but virtual fields might be quite useful. Now, how long do virtual fields stick around for? Where are they stored? Well, let's try just deselecting that. I am going to save my project, Control S, and then I'm going to start a new project. Let's go back to our old project. Is my virtual field still there? Yes, it is. Excellent. And then what if we close QGIS completely? Keys reopened and let's go to our recent projects and open up the virtual field. That looks good. And let's have a look at our attribute table. And our virtual field is still there. This virtual field seems pretty persistent. So let's see if we can get rid of it. And I'm just going to remove that shape file. There it is, and add it back in. And now it's gone. Here's a question for you. I've added two new columns, A and B. And now I'm going to create a new virtual field called quiz. And I'm going to look for the fields. Whoops, fields and values. And I'm going to do A plus B. Now I would expect this in our virtual field to add them, which it has done. But what's going to happen if I change the value of A? That's for you to find out and let me know in the comments. If you're looking for a beginner course in GIS, then don't forget you can check out the description of the video. And we've got a beginner course right there hosted on Udemy. You can also buy me a coffee if you like. And any other form of support is much appreciated. So please keep hitting the like button. Keep subscribing, although you can only do that once. And uh, don't forget, happy mapping.